Hello, my name is Mavis Amankwa and I'm going to be sharing a little bit about my personal story with you. Um, many of you may know me as the business lady, the PR guru, the lady that helps people with really taking their businesses to another level, which is true. But lots of people want to know about my own personal life or my own personal story. So I'll share a little bit about you, about me, sorry, and also how I got here and how it has been for me because I have had a lot of adversity, I've had a lot of challenges, but I have not let that stop me from going for what I want. So I was born 46 years ago, nearly 47 years ago, um, in East London, um, in an area called Canning Town. Um, my mum came here in 1972 from Ghana and um, she got married and I was born in 1974. Yes, so I grew up in Canning Town and I made lots of friends in the area of Canning Town even though I did face a bit of bullying just because I was different, I looked different, my skin was different, my hair was different. This was early, you know, mid 70s. So, you know, it wasn't, it was very rare to see someone um, from the black community, young child in school. But as I grew older, my school became very diverse and um, I really enjoyed primary school. When I was about nine years old, um, I had the opportunity to change schools, to go to a more Catholic or go to a Catholic school. So there I went on to St. Helens Primary School in Plasto and I was there for about three years. And then I went on to secondary school, which is the all brown nun school, St. Angela's, in the heart of East London, Forest Gate to be precise. I enjoyed school life. I enjoyed being in secondary school. As a teenager, you always want to explore, see what's happening. So I used to have lots of fun with my friends. Because it was a girls' school, we were always wanted to be adventurous so we wanted to see what was out there go and explore you know go out after school and go to you know meet friends and 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 and, and mix with just different people so that was very interesting because my school was very very strict but that also really gave me a lot of discipline in terms of how i organize myself routine and just ensuring that i get things done within a certain time frame so from St Angela's, I then went on to study IT at the College of North East London, in North London. And I was there for two years and I did a diploma in IT because it was always my dream to fix computers, to do something to do with computers and technology. So while I was in school, even though I did all my GCSEs, I also did information technology as well. So I then went on to college to do information technology. I loved it, it was there for two years, got a diploma. And from there, my career started as an IT technician, really. So I was fixing lots of computers, hardware, software. I had lots of jobs in private companies. I worked in the city. I also worked in Canary Wall for an export company. And um, I had so many different jobs. I even worked for a veneer company, which was very interesting. So over the years, I went up from kind of IT technician to manager and um, I was doing a lot of training and I was enjoying the job. But in between that, I got married and I had two young kids at the time. And I realized that I didn't really want to fix computers anymore. I had a passion for business. So my husband was doing business already and I co-founded the business with him which was a rich vision brand. And um, I said to him, look, I want to start my own business and stuff. And he was like, well, ready here, you can, you can join me. So I joined him and um, I worked on the marketing side of rich visions, which was helping organizations to market to ethnic minorities, which was really good. And we did that for a number of years. And we worked on so many different campaigns of how mainstream, and corporate organizations and the government could reach out to diverse communities and it was it was exciting 2012 had the opportunity to win one of the biggest contracts um, of our time which was the digital tv switchover where we had the opportunity to basically market and promote the tv switchover where tvs were switching over from analog to digital so we ran won that campaign and we had loads of features in the pr week marketing week and a lot of the kind of corporate media which basically opened doors for me so people kind of 
and find out who is this Mavis Amankwa, what she's about, who, you know, who is she, what does she do? And um, I remember my first cover that I got was on the front cover of PR Week. And it was just talking about who I am, what I did, what campaigns I'd worked on, and just reaching out to diverse communities. And that opened a lot of doors and we started winning lots of different contracts. And then during that time, I also found another gap in the market that small businesses also wanted to market themselves to many others, not just diverse communities, to all communities, to consumers, to businesses. And we then opened the Rich Vision small business arm of the business and we were helping small businesses with their marketing and promotion. Then we realised, hmm, lots of businesses need funding. So we then went on to the funding arm and started working with people to get funding and finance. And now we do a plethora of services, including marketing support, social media, and also finance. And a lot of people say to me, what's your vision? You know, I follow you, you know, I get loads of messages of people saying, I've been following you for so many years. I've seen your story. I've seen you grow. I've seen from where you came from to where you are now. Where do you want to go now? And where I want to go now, I think, I definitely want to keep making a difference. I would like the opportunity to do something really different, like become a dragon on the dragon's den, the first black woman dragon. I'd love to have that opportunity or something on that level to be the first or to be, you know, something that's very distinctive and unique to make a statement, to make a change. I think that's really important for women. I like to represent women. I think it's important, especially women in business. We are underrepresented in business. And I think getting the opportunity to be in something like Dragons Den, to become a dragon is definitely something that I would love to do when I grow older. Even though I'm older now, but I'm when I'm much older. But in the meantime, I definitely want to continue all the masterclasses that I do, helping people grow their business helping people with their marketing, especially online, you know, digital marketing is very important, people being able to, you know, access the internet and, you know, people, businesses need to get onto the internet. I want to spend a lot more time with my family, my daughter just graduated from university um, and come back home, so I'd love to do a lot more with her and see my grandson grow, you know, and see babies as they grow, it's just so nice to see their development. Spending more time, you know, with my family, my husband, my mom, my brothers, just everybody really. But at the same time, enjoying what I do. Because business is not easy. Business is very tough, you know, and it comes with good days and bad days. And sometimes you just need to break out and just spend some time with people that you love. And I would say that one day, my legacy, will be able to demonstrate that you can make it in life, no matter where you're from, no matter your background, where you've come from, what you've done, what you've been through, you can make it. And I'm a living proof of that because I've had so much adversity, even as a young child and trauma. It was quite horrific, but I didn't let that get to me. It made me stronger with anything. And during the times of business, I even had some more, you know, stories that were quite sad you know and i failed a lot in business but i got up and i just picked myself up and just dusted myself off and said just keep going keep going so i would say for those of you that have a story for those of you that have got a vision for those of you that want to do something that you've been dreaming about make sure you go for it don't let anyone stop you at least try i always love the quote from Michael Jordan saying he would rather die trying than not trying at all. And I think it's really important that we do that. And we live our best lives as much as we can. We've gone through a very tough time in the last two years, the whole world. But we're still thankful and grateful. And I'm still thankful, you know, I'm a very strong Christian. I believe, you know, my faith is very strong and believe that, you know, God guides us through whatever we do, even though sometimes we do have challenges. But you'll see me one day, somewhere. Could be on the Dragon's Den, could be my own show, no one knows. But what I know is that I'm gonna focus on my vision, I'm gonna to continue to help others. And wherever I can bring joy, I will bring joy. 
wherever I can help people with growing their business or their personal life, I'm there. Thank you.